बच्चों अभी हम दूसरा लैब पे है दिस इज द लैब फॉर वाटर आईओटी इज़ द लैब ऑफ वाटर आईओटी हेलो सो यही पे क्या क्या काम चल रहा है दे आर बेसिकली डीलिंग विद द चैलेंजेस विद द वाटर क्वालिटी मेजरमेंट एंड असेसमेंट सो वाटर लेवल मेजरमेंट एंड ऑल सो विल सी व्हाट्स हैपनिंग हियर ओके सो सो so normally you see this is the analog flow meter this is installed in uh, building complexes such as apartment schools mandated by the government hmm. and as you can see the issue with this is this is an analog meter yes. so basically if you want the reading right now you have to send somebody if you want it from multiple places you have to send one person many times keep a record becomes a big hassle yes. so we built this device it is a retrofit device meaning uh, it's not a new device you just place it on top of the analog flow meter now it's a digital flow meter so what we have done is we have installed a small um, camera inside the device and it takes photos of the flow meter <coughs> uh, small camera inside okay. and it takes photos of this uh, reading okay. it digitizes that data and sends it to our dashboard right and uh, so that is how we get digital data the other one is this is the water volume meter so normally you have devices which tell you the water level in your tank and tell you the water volume. basically it is converting the image uh, whichever the image analog image is there that it is uh, reading by using that some cv techniques it yes, is converting yes, yes. into the digital information yes, yes. right ML so ML instead of originally doing the a2d conversion it is mm -hmm. taking the image and by, by using the ml techniques it is converting yes. into a digital, it's extracting the data yeah, information yeah, yeah. from the we, image we have a dashboard common okay. dashboard there uh, one place and you can visualize it monitor it uh, now the dashboard is uh, yeah uh, we uh, the tv i can a uh, volume meter as i said and we installed a temperature sensor as well okay so what we are trying right now is to get like the data uh, for some time period and then if we can apply ml techniques to find some correlation between uh, air mm -hmm. temperature water temperature water pressure and that sort of thing exactly. and finally we have this device which is um, string tension based borewell monitor and so this is all these devices are developed in the lab yes yeah. 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 and patented by our lab yes hmm. um so this is like the unique device in the world i think the first one which which tells you the depth of the water in our borewell via iot okay so you just place it on top of your borewell and then you leave it Mm -hmm. and then it will tell you how deep uh, the, water the water is okay. and normally yeah. you have to manually do it so there is a, from what we found out there was no uh, remote solution for that problem so this is the Great. first one yes yes uh, let me see the slash water na sir ha slash water um as you can see this is our campus and these are all the uh, this is the index. these are the nodes deployed yeah these are the different nodes so if you want like the reading right now what is there Uh, you can find out this is the total flow this is the flow rate that sort of thing so and it tells you whether the device is working whether it's not working also okay yeah so th this is the our uh, campus and this is where we have deployed them so you can see this is where uh, the hardware setup everything will happen basically aajkal kya we need to collect the data like they, they have deployed is my hardware part is ke data collect karne ke baad we need to analyze the data we need to correlate the data we need to what we call predict uh, based on the trends of the data we we should see the next time the images we may be able to predict what is the quality of the water all those things we can do using ml and all so this is the aap log ko bhi pata hona chahiye research mein kya hota hai kaisa ho ho raha hai kaam and how it will be interesting how it is different from a regular degree like getting a mtech or btech and how ms research or phd what will be the difference between them all these things you can get an idea in a real time atmosphere okay thank you